Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please excuse the mad hair, I've been out in the wind. Sun keeps coming and going, so it might be a ball ache. What? Excuse me, end. Today is going to be February favourites. Can you believe it? No, I can't. So I've got them all here on the floor. There is a mixture of things, but I'm going to start off with TV programmes because I'll forget. So the things I have been watching recently are the drama series on Netflix called You, which I'm sure all of you will have heard about. It's about this guy that works in a bookstore called Joe. He becomes extremely obsessed with this girl who comes into the bookstore called Beck. He basically stalks her. I don't want to give too much away, but that's the gist of the story. Uh, I did enjoy it. It was okay. I wouldn't say it was absolutely fantastic. Best thing I've ever watched, but it was okay. Something that I love, and it's been on from January, but it only just finished. So it's mid, well, it's the second week of February, so I'm putting it in as February favourites. is Silent Witness, which is on every winter. I love it. Have a humongous crush on Jack, who is the forensics guy. Love his Irish accent, just love him in general. And basically what it is, it's a crime programme. There's Nikki Alexander, who's one of the main characters, and she is the pathologist. I think I'm getting this right, pathologist. Deals with the dead bodies. And then Jack deals with the forensic side of it, you know, finding, you know, like maybe cigarette butts or paint prints and, you know, all that jazz. So I've been really enjoying that. And I can't think of any other programmes. I tend to just watch a lot of YouTube. So the YouTubers that I've been really enjoying at the moment are Kimberly Annan. She's quite a small channel. But with our help, we can get her to where she wants to be and support her. So I'll leave a link to her channel and do go and check it out. And I'll also leave a link to our box swap, which we have just done, which was great. Another great channel and a lovely lady is Drop Dead Fred. Again, I'll leave a link to her channel. She is lovely. I, she is like stunning, super stunning. I, I have so much envy for her hair. She has the most amazing hair. And I always say to her that she looks like Gillian Anderson, you know, from the X-Files. Oh, she's so stunning and so lovely. So you should totally check her out and subscribe to her channel. And she also has a giveaway running at the moment. Possibly by the time you see this video, as I do pre-record, she might have hit 2,000 subscribers already, but you should still go check her out and subscribe to her channel. And another YouTuber who I have been adoring is Sparkly Princess Lynette Blogs. I think that's right. I always get her name totally confused. But Lynette, she is lovely. She's such a lovely lady. We've become really good friends. She's very supportive of my channel, as I am of hers. We speak off of um, YouTube, we speak on Instagram, we speak on WhatsApp, we talk most days actually and she's a fellow Scots as well, she's from Edinburgh and yeah it's just been really really lovely. So her channel is growing slowly but surely so again I will leave a link to her and you totally should check her out. And of course there are many many more YouTubers that I love and watch, Wacky World of Lottie, she's my good friend, Charmed Wayne, she's my good friend as well. I love other bigger YouTubers like Joe, uh, Joe Sugg, Zoella, Sukoni Jolies are my number one favourite Irish family. I love them to death. If they ever stop doing YouTube, it will be like a loss. So there's so, so many I could go on, but that's who I've been loving. So let's dive on in. I don't know where to start, to be honest. I don't know whether to start with the random bits or whatever. Okay, the first thing I've been loving this month is my hat from Primark. I love it. It's so soft, so comfy. I love the pop of bright pink and I get so many compliments on it and I've been loving it. I've never loved a hat so much. I almost wish I'd bought two. So if they've still got them in Primark, I highly recommend you go and get one. Why do I always get burps? I got one here. So yes, this has been a firm favourite through the month of February. Another favourite is this candle. I want to scoop it out and eat it. Now, it's from Asda, George Home, and it says sweet grapefruit, but me and my friends think it smells like mango, and I love it. The only thing I hate is the fact that it burns like this, so there's all this wasted candle. That's why I like those sand and fog candles, because the whole thing gets used. 
but I've been loving this. This is my second one and I also picked up the reed diffuser of it through the Christmas period. So I don't know if they have any more in Asda, so I should have really stocked up. So I've been loving this. So I'll be gutted when it's gone. The next thing is this classic Carmex moisturising lip balm, which I got on one of my beauty, beauty advent calendars. I love it. I really love it. And I use it every single day at work. I always have this in my work fleece because, just threw it away, because I get dry lips and I really, really like it. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next thing, these are in no particular order, is cordially invited a seasonal guide to hosting any occasion and making a memory out of every day by Zoe Suck. I picked this up on Amazon eh, probably mid to the end of January and I just really loved reading it. I mean, I wouldn't say that I'm the hostess with the mostess like she is, but it's got recipes and different things in it. You know, it's got like some recipes and different ideas for different seasons, things you could do, you know, birthday cake toppers. There's loads of stuff. And normally I always read books on my Kindle, but I've got the odd few hardback books that aren't actual stories that I like to have and keep. And the vision is when I get this living room sorted, is to have one of those coffee tables that you can put books underneath like this, you know, just to make it look aesthetically pleasing. So if you like Zoe, or, or even if you don't, if you're just into hosting and making memories, which I love making memories, then you might want to check it out. Okay, the next thing I've been loving might be random to some people, but it's this special edition Volvic Touch of Fruit Sugar-Free Watermelon Water. I love it. The strawberry one is my favourite, but I love this. And it has been on offer now for a good few months for a pound for 1.5 litres. What more can I say? I love it. I had to include it. Huh. I've also been loving this mug that I got for my Christmas from my good friend Rona. It says, time spent together, and it's Winnie the Pooh mug. And... It's this colour and then when you put hot water or hot liquids in it, it changes and then it's got like a classic scene and I love it. And I've been using it non-stop. Another thing I've been loving and probably shouldn't be eating because I should be trying to lose weight, but hey-ho, is oh, these lint chocolates. I love them. Literally love them. I got one of the small boxes in my stocking from my partner and then I got two of the little same small boxes in two latest in beauty boxes. And then I bought a box a few weeks ago. And I got another box the other day. And I love them. But they are really good from the fridge. And I literally, like, you don't even, I can't even manage to eat, like, more than maybe two. So it's good for a wee treat. The next thing I'm loving, and I'm going to put this on my hair tonight is the Percy and Reed Wonder Overnight Recovery Balm. This is 50 milliliters and I got it in one of my advent calendars. I have hunted high on low to get this, the full size, and it's always sold out. So what it says is instantly absorbed into dry hair, no macing. Wonder Overnight Recovery helps to nourish and rehydrate every strand. Natural protein and potent conditioning Agents promote hair strength and flexibility to combat brittleness, breakage and the signs of daily damage. So you apply to dry hair at bedtime, massage a generous amount into your scalp and roots, then smooth through lengths and ends. Wait a few seconds and hey presto, it's gone. No need to protect your pillows, shampoo out in the morning, no conditioner needed. And it's brilliant. And I start, it, it does what it says. I have got really fine, limp, flyaway, dry hair and obviously I get it coloured. And I've only used this twice actually, but I'm loving it. So I'm going to put this, I got my hair coloured on Tuesday, it is now Saturday and I'm, I haven't washed my hair yet since because I don't like to wash it every day and you want to keep the colour as long as possible. So I'm going to pop this on my hair tonight and then wash it off tomorrow and I love it. And I love the scent of Percy and Reed. Oh, love it. So I will definitely, if I can find it, get another one of these. 
next up, and I've been loving, and I also got this in one of my advent calendars, is the Shea and Blue London Boutique Perfumery, and this is in Black Tulip, and you can see how much I love it. Oh, it's so good. This is the, uh, I think it's 10 milliliters. Where is it? Can you see? I 10 milliliters, and I think it's about 16 pounds the 10 milliliters, and it's like 30 pounds for the bigger ones. But oh, I love it. Um, I think this was in the Marks and Spencer's calendar, so I guess Marks and Spencer's do it, but so do ASOS. And if you've seen, well, you should have seen by now when you were watching this video, you would have seen my ASOS homeware haul. I ended up picking the cherry blossom scent and a pineapple one as well. Oh, they're amazing! Love it. I've been loving that. I've been loving this lip combo together. This is the Bare Minerals Lipstick in the shade Crave, which is this stunning pink shade. I'll give it a swatch on my end for you. So this is a stunning pink shade. And then I've been loving putting my Fenty Universal Gloss over the top. Now, if Drop Dead Fred is watching this, a couple of times she's commented on my... Instagram saying she loves my lipstick combo. Well, this is what it is. And that's the gloss besides it. And that together is beautiful. So I love it. I picked up the Fenty Gloss from Depop. And I definitely want to go and buy the other one. Not from Depop because I can't even find it on there. But from the actual site. And now I need a tissue. Uh -uh. Okay. The next things I have been loving are these two Super Shock Shadows by Colourpop. I have one of them on today, which is not that one, which is this one here called Sequence. I don't know if you can see my eyes. I don't have my ring light on. Um, they're great. They're just literally like so easy to use. So this is the shades that I have in my eyes. And this is called Sequence. It's a super shock shadow ultra glitter. And they're not lying. Look at that. Oh, it's not maybe going to go on right there. See, they don't swatch very well because compared to there, compared to my finger, they're just amazing. They are great for just quick makeup as well or even as a topper over other shadows. So basically today, my friend was coming to take me to the co-op and stuff and I thought, I'll put one of these on. It's so quick and easy. And the other one I have been loving recently is called Revolution and it's a Super Shock Shadow Ultra Glitter. The only thing I will say with these Super Shock Shadows is they do hit pan really easily because there's obviously not that much compressed into the thing me because as you can see I've hit pan there. So this is the other colour that I've been loving and it's more of a pinky champagne colour. As I say, they don't swatch that well on the hands. So that's another one I've been loving and I think I actually had that on... I think I had it on last weekend or on Monday even. So yes... Another makeup item I have been using a lot the, over the month or so is this Urban Decay Kristen Leanne Highlight Palette that I got for my birthday. And I've been loving these two shades particularly. But I do feel like, I don't know, they've got a weird layer on it. I don't know if you can see that. that see how it's gone all weird? And I don't know whether maybe it need, it's one of these ones that needs like scratched on the surface to then make it you know, work better. So I've been using them, even though it doesn't look like I have. And of course, if you know me already, I love a face mist, particularly the Pixie by Petra once. So at the moment I'm using the Pixie Vitamin Make a Wake Up Mist with orange blossom and citrus extracts. This is an energizing, energizing facial water. And I love it. I use it morning and night. I sometimes spray it through the day if I'm at home. And you can spray it over your makeup, under your makeup, just on your face without makeup. They're brilliant. I highly, highly recommend these Pixie sprays. They're brilliant. I am literally obsessed with mists. If you want me to do a mist, face mist collection video, I'm happy enough to do that because I've got a good fair few. So yeah, that's a favourite at the minute. Another thing I've been using is this Dr. Popo Does It It Does It All 7 in 1 Hair Treatment Styler Multi Use Hair Care Cream with Natural Popo, which I picked up in Latest in Beauty. 
So it says it's a heat protector, reduces split ends, it's a detangler. Leave-in hair treatment reduces frizz and smooths. Blow dry styling aid adds shine. Allergen free. Now I've been using it on and off as a heat protector spray. I'm not really sure if it does all the other things for my hair. It smells lovely. I don't know how to describe the smell, but it's just really nice. And from the packaging, looking at it close up there, you can see that I'm down to here. And yeah, I'm just really loving it. It's really good. Another thing I've been loving is this. As you can see, it's dirty. This is the sponge by Spectrum, which I got in my ASOS advent calendar. And I love it. I just love it so much. It's not as good as my number seven one, but I love it. So if you can get a hold of one of these, or you've got one, definitely give it a go. Another thing I've been loving is the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. So I did get one of these in one of my advent calendars, I think. Why aren't we going out of focus? Why are we out of focus? Thank you. Um, and I haven't opened it yet, but this is amazing. I've got it on today. I love it. I love it so much. It is just such a good mascara. Because, I mean, I never wear lashes. I keep saying I've, I've got some there and I keep saying I'm going to try, but I just don't. And then, I don't know about anybody else. See, when you wear glasses... Oh, it's got a splodge of it there. See, when you wear glasses, it's kind of weird, I feel, wearing lashes. They just flap about and annoy. But yes, check out the Bobbi Brown. Oh, mascara. Ah! Oh! It's like blobbed in there and it's going to annoy me. Did I get it? <laughs> Made the right face there. Oh my goodness. Uh -uh -uh. The last two items, this is not new to anybody that's been on my channel, is the Coconut Tanning Water by You Tan and Tone. I have most mornings been just spritzing this on my face and going out the door to work because I've looked a bit shit and it gives me a bit of colour. People have commented and said, oh, you look nice and tanned and bronzy. And yeah, I've been loving it. So when this is out, I will definitely pick up more from Superdrug. I think it's about £17, but it lasts ages. And the last item is this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Express Hydrating Spray inspired by face care. Advanced hydration with hyaluronic. Woohoo! Normal to dry skin. It instantly cools and absorbs for radiant looking skin all day. So it's a spray for your body. So you just spray it all over. I think it's slightly scented. It's got a slight scent. Nothing too officious or, you know, too much if you're sensitive to smells. And as you can see, I'm down to here on it. And I don't even use it every night because I forget. But see, if you're just like, oh, I really should moisturise, I can't be bothered. It's so easy. One thing I will suggest, though, is I was spraying it onto my hand and putting it on and your hand gets slippy and you can't press the thing. So what I do is I spray it all over my body first and then I rub it in. And then if I need more, I spray it all on. So that's just a wee tip. So I picked this up in Superdrug because I just thought this is handy. So it says, new Neutrogena Hydro Boost Express Hydrating Spray brings advanced facial hydration expertise to body care for instantly quenched, supple and radiant skin that lasts all day. This refreshing, ultra light and cooling formula is powered by hyaluronic acid, skin care's super hydrator, capable of holding up to 100 a thousand times its weight in water. Sorry. It gives skin the boost of hydration it needs by lo locking in skin quenching hydration, maintaining its moisture balance by continuously releasing hydration as and when your skin needs it. And then it's got results. 79% of women agree skin is noticeably smooth. 74% of women agree skin looks and feels beautiful all day. Ideal for on the go. Sprays directly onto wet skin to lock in post shower moisture and absorbs instantly with a non greasy feeling so you can get dressed immediately. Spray close to the skin for a moisturising spritz or further away for a refreshing watery mist. Suitable for sensitive skins. And don't spray near your eyes or face. Now that's true, you don't have that sticky residue. I don't know if I can say that it does wonders because I think I would have to literally 
religiously do it every single day and night, which I'm not doing, which is terrible because I just get lazy. Um, but it does, it is nice. It's a nice product and I have been using it. So you might want to check that out for yourselves and see what you think. And I was just intrigued because I thought I love mists for my body and I'm the kind of person when it comes to skincare and body care, I don't like creams that sit on your skin and I don't even just mean that tacky feeling but like see like the body shop body butters they sit on your skin for ages and I don't like that feeling whereas my friend loves that feeling because she feels that it, she's getting the most out of it I like like a light cream and gel creams because I like the fact that it is doing what it needs to do for my skin but it's not sitting there if you get what I mean so that's everything I've been loving throughout the month of February. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, share this channel, subscribe, click the bell button to be notified when I upload. Don't forget to enter my 1000 subscriber giveaway. I'm sure at the end of February I will still be running it. And yeah, if you like this video, then... I'm glad you enjoyed it. Leave comments down below. I love communicating with you all. And give me ideas of maybe other face mists I can try. And other, other items that I might like. Okay, speak to you soon. Bye-bye.